Hi friends, welcome to HighTechnology.in. In this tutorial, I will guide you through how to configure always on feature on SQL Server 2012 Enterprise version. Here we have three servers. One is our Node 1, second is our Node 2, and third one is our Domain Controller. Okay, let's go to Node 1. This is our Node 1 server. I have already installed SQL Server 2012 here and as you can see we have installed failover cluster to this server ok first of all we are going to create a new cluster here also I want to tell you that on our node 2 server I have installed SQL Server 2 and our failover follower cluster so let's go to node 1 okay so now click on create cluster okay click on next here we have to mention our servers this is our node 1 server ok both, our, both of our servers are added now click on next here I am checking this option because I do not require support from Microsoft and this will not run our validation test ok click on next here we have to provide a name to our cluster I am going to name it SQL on and here we have to provide an IP address to our cluster 121 ok click on next now click on next also I want to tell you that our node 1 and node 2 server are both are on domain and we have login through one of the domain user ok as you can see our cluster has been created successfully this is our cluster and as you can see in nodes here we have two nodes that is node 1 and that is node 2 both are in up condition ok fine now we have to enable always on feature on SQL server so go to SQL server configuration manager and go to SQL server services click on properties then click on all always on high availability tab and now click on enable always on availability group click apply it will ask us to restart the services of SQL server click ok and click ok ok now we are going to restart our services ok fine now go to node 2 and do the same thing here we are on SQL Server Configuration Manager click on properties click on always and high availability tab check this click apply click ok click ok and do a restart of the services Okay, services has been restarted successfully. Now login onto your node one, and as you can see, this is our always on high availability feature. Okay, now click on new availability group wizard. Click next. 
we have to provide the name to availability group name we are going to al gr ok we are going to name it SQL on grp click on next ok first of all we have to create user database ok ok here we are going to create two database create database SQL on one go database SQL two. Okay, this is our database. Our database has been created successfully. So now go to always on feature which are click on previous now click on next do a refresh and as you can see both our databases appears here so now we have to as you can see we have to take full full database backup of these two databases ok do one thing go to task and take a backup Here we have a saved folder SQL one dot back. As you can see, backup type is full. Click OK. And this is fine. Now take database backup of our second database ok fine now go to all new availability group which are do a refresh and as you can see that status is meets prerequisites ok check both of these database click next ok as you can see this is our node 2 this initial role is primary and I am checking here automatic failover and readable secondary we are going to give it yes and now click on add replica here connect and this is our secondary and we are also checking it as readable ok fine there are so many settings here like endpoints backup preference and listener also so here just we are skipping that click on next and this is our saved folder click on next as you can see we just have a warning and we can ignore that click on next and click on finish it will start creating our new availability group ok our new availability group has been created successfully as you can see here this is our availability group ok now we are going to do some transaction here okay.
we are going to create a new table here and that name employee and we are just taking a one column here that is int okay now insert some the code we are inserting this record 100 time okay okay fine now we select okay select star for employee as you can see our data has been inserted successfully now go to node 2 okay do a refresh of databases and as you can see here this is our SQL on one database and this is our SQL on two database okay now open new square window Okay, use our SQL long one database and do a select star from a plot. So friend as you can see here also we have hundred rows of data as we inserted in on node 1 this is our node 2 and our data is synchronized so this is our always on feature of SQL server and you can check also there is one option that is our dashboard you can check the synchronized option and all that that what our domain and group and all that like you can see this is our SQL on group availability group and we have two nodes here this is node 1 node 2 and roles of, of them that it is primary secondary and synchronization state is synchronized okay friends thank you thank you for watching have a nice day